Who doesn't love seeing into somebody else's life? Peeling back that curtain and getting a sneak peek. I definitely do. I've always found great satisfaction in seeing how other people plan their life and how they organize everything in hopes to find the most optimal way for me to plan my life. If that's what you're looking for, stick around. Today we are going to be planning out August in Notion. Welcome to A Slice of Haley, where I share all manner of things from planning to wellness, all in hopes to help you be a better version of yourself day after day. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when a new video is coming up. Today you're going to join me as I plan out August 2020 in my digital bullet journal in Notion. If you've not yet created your digital bullet journal in Notion, I highly recommend you go back to a previous video. I'll put a card up over here, over here, uh, so that you can set up your bullet journal and then come back to this video and you can plan with me at the same time. Let's get planning. Starting off in the master calendar, I plan out all of my workouts first. I do this because they happen every Tuesday and every Thursday. Duplicating these items, all I'm doing is holding select and the alt key at the same time. So clicking on the item, holding alt and dragging it over. From here, I have a duplicate of each of the original August 4th workouts. Now this section is tied to another database that I have in Notion, which is a wellness tracker. From here, I just add all the dates that coincide with the workouts. By having this master calendar, I'm now able to see all of the things that are happening in a month, whether it's projects, tasks, workouts, and I have been finding this extremely helpful in being able to look forward and backwards as to what's going on. This master calendar has replaced my future log. We have some big financial goals coming up, things that we're saving for, and I like to track paydays so that I'm aware of when money is coming in versus when money is going out. I also keep track of when my husband is going to be on call for work. Uh, there's different times where he is on call during the day and on call during the night. So I like to have them as a general overview in the calendar. In order to stay on track with the channel, I do add in all the YouTube upload dates for this channel just so I can stay on track. I then have another link to my another section in my Notion uh, all about this channel. Uh, one day I will show you guys what that looks like. We also have the August long weekend, which I am looking forward to. Uh, so I do add holidays to the master calendar as well. Now moving on to the month view. I update the title to read as August. From here, you can see all the items from my master calendar have been pulled over. I then add in my goals or focus areas for the month. Each month I like to pick a playlist for the month and I have chosen music from the 2000s. A little throwback. We use the mail service HelloFresh, which sends us weekly food packages for four meals. In this section, I am adding all of the recipes into my meal planning database with the Chrome app. All I have to do is open the page, click the little extension in my Chrome window, and select the database that I want those recipes to be added into. 
which takes a web clipping of the menu, which I can save for a later date in the event something ever happens to the recipe card. After updating the menu section, I will go in and update the dailies. I like to change the icon and change the cover image each month. I love that there are so many different images that I can choose from within the Notion because it's hooked up to Unsplash, which is a free stock site. For August, I'm going with a nice floral theme. I realize the cherry blossoms are more of a spring flower, but from here I'm just changing the text fields to toggles for mood and for weather. In this section, I'm setting up the different tasks that I want to brain dump for the month of August. There are a variety of things that they could come from. It could be hobbies that I want to accomplish, things I want to do in our home. I do also have a catch-all idea bucket, basically, from Michelle B. Uh, just showing different things or different areas where it might jog my memory about a task that I want to do or a thing that I have to get done. I find this section extremely helpful because I can link it to dailies, I can add due dates, I can link it to larger projects. It's basically a complete catch-all for all tasks that I have coming up and things that I need to get done. The last area that I focus on is for affirmations. For the month of July, I picked five different affirmations that I wanted to focus on all about my wellness. Uh, for the month of August, I'm looking a little bigger and a little deeper. Things about myself, my energy, my creativity, and my YouTube channel. Do you use affirmations? If you do, leave a comment below. I'd love to know what affirmations you use each day. And again, you never know who you might inspire. Well, there you have it. We have planned out August. You may notice that there are changes in my bullet journal from previous videos that you, you have watched. That's just, again, the continuous evolution of my bullet journal in Notion. I do hope you were able to 
stop and pause the video if there were sections where you wanted to plan with me at the same time. If you did see anything in the video that you want to learn more about, please leave a comment below. I'd be happy to create a video for you or create a new video about how to do something different in Notion. And again, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for making it to this part of the video. I'm going to be adding some bloopers of me just, you know, goofing around at the end of this video. So you can see creating a, a YouTube video is not as easy as it looks. So mad props to all YouTube creators out there. This is, this is a thing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It makes me understand that you like this. It makes that YouTube understand that you like this. So you'll see more videos like this in the future. There will be future videos about Notion, planning. I have some fun ones coming up about wellness. Uh, so this is not just a planning channel. If you know somebody else that could benefit from creating a bullet journal or setting up a bullet journal Notion, do share the uh, bullet journal playlist with them. Uh, you never know who might want to move from paper to digital. One last thing to remember, dreams don't work unless you do. So make sure that you are planning and taking actual steps to further your goals to be the best version of yourself day after day. See you next time.